and we're back and we're getting right into it I picked up this fuel cell for about 30 bucks because someone said it was garbage because there's a crack in the weld now building on a budget means we fix stuff like that because we can so you can clearly see there's a nasty weld cr crack in the weld right there so we gotta weld it back up and fix it after we get it cleaned off gotta rinse it out make sure any residual fuel is out of there and we gotta make sure all of our weld settings for aluminum are right where they need to be once we got it dialed in we go through fix this weld up no more crack no more leak Now we can actually get on to making the mounts for it. I'm using 45 degrees and then I actually drilled through the one side and that allows me to just get a single bolt pass through for all the four corner mounts which you'll see more detail in later. I'm using the fuel cell to actually tack everything together that way I know it fits there's no question about it if it fits around this side it'll fit up through the whole cell Once we have this all tacked together, we can actually use it to lay out where it's going to go in the trunk. Center it best we can. Now I figure out where our holes actually go. Along with marking out where I actually have to cut the floor out. Holes drilled, floor cut. Now that the shell of the mount is made we have to actually create a bottom for it to hold the cell from underneath a few 45 cuts and straight cuts later with some welding there's our finished aluminum weldment to hold the cell The top strap is just a bent piece of steel with some riv nuts in the tube. Make it easy and it actually keeps spring tension on the steel so it shouldn't rattle around at all either. Now we go on to actually making the fuel pump hanger. Now I started off by taking this eighth inch steel strapping and if you can see on the left side we have a nice 90 degree angle. I'm going to use that to butt the fuel pump up too. I opted for an in-tank fuel pump on this one just because of the convenience of it and the single pump availability to get 500 plus liters. So this is a Walbro 525, they're readily available for about 100 bucks and they do exactly what you need to do. Now this fuel sock is about three quarters of an inch tall. So I back calculate from the absolute maximum by setting the strap into the tank and marking it. That's where that starting line's from. Then backing off for the filter. But we also have to take into account the thickness of the steel itself. And this is eighth inch strap. So we're gonna take off an extra eighth inch. And 
Now you also need clearance because you don't want the sock on the bottom of the tank. You want it to actually be sitting up, that way it can draw fuel from all the way around it and it's not sucking it through just the top of the sock. So with that, cut it to length and just do a sanity check of, okay, is this where I need it to be? Is this the right height? And then once you have that kind of dialed in, you can say, okay, good to go. Time to weld it up. Now this is actually the filler cap that came with this cell. Now. It's steel. Steel's so much easier to weld than aluminum. So we just quick weld this thing up. And the strap is actually stiff enough that I don't need a brace for it. And it should be very low vibration to where I don't have to worry about a weld fatiguing. just like that. We have a fuel cell mount that bolts into the car with rib nuts very nicely and a fuel pump hanger mount. Nothing too special but nothing crazy at the same time and easily fabricatable. Have a good one everyone.